Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prachapati and in this video, I will be talking about what is delete activity in Azure Data Factory. So before going to the video, I would like to introduce my channel, Geek Coders. Here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Databricks, SQL, Python and so on. So if you are liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So let's get started with today's video. Let me open my notepad. Here I have written the definition of delete activity and the applications. So we can use delete activity in Azure Data Factory to delete files from both on-premise systems and the cloud storage. We can delete file from blob storage. We can delete file from uh, Gen 1, Gen 2 and so on. Now these are the options. We can use it. We can delete file from a folder. We can delete content in the folder and folder itself. We can delete a specific file type in a folder. We can delete a single file using a wildcard file name. We can delete a set of files in a folder. We can delete a file from the subfolders and we can use this logging in the delete activity. So what do you mean, you know, uh, we can enable the logging feature so that in future, we can go and backtrack the things which which files have been deleted using this activity. So let me open my ADF portal. And right now I do not have any pipeline. So let me create a new pipeline. I will give the name delete pipeline. Okay. Now we have this delete activity present here. Let me drag it. Now you can see we have these two options source and logging setting. So for now, I am disabling this and I will choose only source. Let me choose my data set. Let me open it. Here I have to change the uh, blob link service. Okay. And uh, let me go to parameter and I will type here blob and I will pass this name here so I will choose this parameter here and what now I will do what now I will do I will pass here container name that is that is source and blob name is testing dot csv if I go back you can see in this source folder in this source container I have these three csv files I, I have chosen testing.csv now. For now, I have chosen this. And you can see this is recursively option. I have to disable it for now. Mm, everything looks fine. Now let me debug it. If I click on this output button, then you can see I have deleted only one file that is testing.csv. Fine. Now, what I will do, I will, I will, now I want to delete everything from here. Okay. So, what I will do, I will go to this option. I will remove this, uh, this parameter here. And if I go to my delete things, okay, that is done. So, uh -huh. so let me open it again and let me delete the parameter called blob. I will delete it. And if I click on this pipeline and now if I check this button recursively and if I debug it, then we will see what happens. It got succeed. Now you can see number of files which has been deleted is 2. It means everything got deleted. No blob found. Okay. So let me do again. Let me push some, uh, you know, some files again. Can I? Okay. I cannot do. So I will choose this one, two, three. Okay. I'm pushing it again. Now, what will I do? You can see we have this logging setting option also. So, if I tick this button, 
then here I have to choose a link service where where a logging uh, you know logging things will be uh, will be entered logging entry will be uh, will be will happen so i will choose uh, the same blob but i will choose a different container so let me choose a folder path so if i choose my folder path i will choose sync instead of source and i do okay it is fine so uh, everything is look fine that is also done now if i if i debug it then we will see what will happen so nothing will happen all the all these three files will be deleted okay but apart from this in addition of this in addition of this what will happen if i go back and if i go to the sync option you can see this folder has been created with some dumb, with some random number and if i click on this then you can see number of i mean we, we can see the files which has been deleted okay this is the name and the file and deleted so we can know we can know easily in future which file has been have been deleted using this activity now this is uh, done 